Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Art Institute presenting case 21 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case that highlights the importance of ensuring distal to lumen re-entry during CTO intervention. This was a case of a 63-year-old man with stained angina and a circumflex CTO and an ischemia in the corresponding myocardial territory who had refractory angina despite medical therapy, it was referred for PCI of the circumflex CTO. Diagnostic and geography demonstrates um, a proximal uh, circumflex occlusion. It has a nice tapered entry, is uh, relatively short. However, there is a bifurcation on the distal cap with a large obtuse marginal branch, as well as the distal circumflex reconstituting at the distal cap. The collaterals, as is the case in most um, circumflex CTOs, are epicardial, coming mainly from the distal left anterior descending artery, and they could potentially be used, but they are small and tortuous. Therefore, we have a circumflex CTO with a tapered, well-defined proximal cap, a relatively short length of occlusion, good-sized distal vessel but with a bifurcation of the distal cap, and epicardial collaterals from the distal LAD. And therefore, our plan was to perform undergrade wire escalation, followed by undergrade dissection and re-entry with plan to re-enter proximal to the bifurcation if we had to, and then retrograde as the third option. A turn by catheter was advanced with the proximal cap and a field XT guide wire fairly easily crossed into the large obtuse marginal branch. This was confirmed by performing scene in geography on different projections. It, in, it is in the first obtuse marginal branch, and the same is confirmed on the spider view. So we do have successful distal re-entry. However, we still need to wire into the distal circumflex that is very large since this is a left dominant system. To achieve this by minimizing the risk of dissections, we used a dual lumen microcatheter, the twin pass, and then we were able to advance a guide wire through the twin pass to the distal vessel. However, um, there are there were some challenges doing that, and during injection there is some staining in that area and a little looping of the wire, which will be of interest to remember for subsequent injections. However, at the point we thought that we had the distal true lumen entry into both branches, and given that both branches were large, our plan was to perform a two stent technique with a DK crush. A 2.5 by 20 millimeter DS was placed into the first obtuse marginal and then was crossed with a 2.75 non compliant balloon. The OM was successfully rewired with another wire, followed by kissing balloon inflation. We then deployed a 2.75 by 20 milli 80 millimeter drag eluting stand in the circumflex. However, after doing that, we were not happy to see that we had poor flow into the circumflex. Therefore, it appears that we were subintimal and we had not realized it into the distal circumflex, although the first topuse marginal has nice undergrade flow. Brief attempts to rewire with the microcatheter and the wire were unsuccessful. And then we decided to attempt re-entry using a stingray and also attempt it immediately proximal to the bifurcation between the left posterior descending artery and the left posterior lateral branch. And we were actually able to do that immediately proximal to that distal trifurcation, it looks like, by using the stingray system. We predilated and then we were able to place a long 2.5 by 38 millimeter drag eluting stand, final kissing balloon, and an excellent result with excellent T3 flow in all branches of both the distal circumflex as well as the first obtuse branchal branch. 28.1 minutes of fluoroscopy time, 0.6 gray of radiation and 250 ml of contrast. So the main lesson in this case is that distal to lumen position confirmation is critical before placing stents because had we not been able to re-enter we would have um, essentially lost the flow to a very large important branch. Also, using a dual lumen microcatheter 
can be very useful in rewiring through bifurcation stenting as well as during bifurcation crossing attempts. Thank you.